Ghost Guard Station Cape Disappointment. This is Ghost Guard Station Cape Disappointment. These official bar conditions are as follows. Main channel, 4 to 6 feet with up chop, middle grounds, 2 to 4 feet, big ox spin, 8 to 10 feet with occasional brakes, cloud top spin, 8 to 10 feet with occasional brakes, winds are on a line variable, visibility is unlimited, we are currently restricted to 40 feet with the buoy 11. Oh. River Bar is known as the graveyard of the Pacific for very good reasons. It has taken countless numbers of vessels to small boats, to large ships, uh, over a, a, a vast many years. Um, they've done a lot of jetty work to improve all that. But bottom line, you've got a large volume of water rushing out of that Columbia River, hitting that Pacific Ocean, and creates just a huge, what I call a, a rapid. So if you could understand what a, a rapid would look like in a small river, multiply that by 200, and that's what you get on the Columbia River. Uh, the Coast Guard has a Coast Guard station there at what they call Cape Disappointment. They've got a motor lifeboat school there to train uh, surfmen in these boats. So this is where they come to train. And there's a reason why they come here to train. It's because we have the right type of weather, the right type of conditions for creating the scenarios of being in rough water. I love that light tackle bite. Me and one and a half ounces of lead and a little worm. Just gets, gets me tingling. Woo! That's a dandy. Boom. Tony's our workhorse series, bringing them in two at a time with the shrimp flies. So when we're bottom fishing or going bottom fishing, uh, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, there's so many different species that uh, we can target when we're going bottom fishing, anywhere from black rock fish to tiger fish to ling cod uh, to kelp greenling. Um, you never know what you're gonna hook into, and that's the neat thing about that. Obviously, we wanna get big fish, and we gotta get a lot of fish, uh, but the, the nice thing about going bottom fishing is, is fishing's typically very good. We call it going to the grocery store to go get groceries, because we know we're gonna catch our fish uh, nine times out of 10.
guy's stripping line out. He's got some piss and vinegar in him. Got a little spunk to him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that guy. <laughs> yes, Bazilla! Woo! There we go. Tony's on. Oh, there we go. That's a duble. That's a duble. It's heavy. Oh, missed that one. So when we get on a good school and, and a school that cooperates where we can have a little fun, I'll, I'll use a, a seven foot, uh, eight to 12 rod, one piece rod, um, and we'll cast out ounce to two ounce jig heads with rubber worms on them. Uh, we're looking at for that presentation as that rubber worm will flutter down through the water column as they're sinking and, and triggering a bite uh, from these fish as you start to bring this bait in. Uh, this lure in. Um, that's kind of the program that we I like to use. It's a lot of fun uh, being able to catch these fish on, on light tackle. Uh, another uh, efficient way to catch these fish is uh, stepping up uh, the rod size and your, and your leads uh, as we're jigging, uh, vertical jigging. Um, shrimp flies or actual jigs themselves uh, anywhere from four to, to six ounces. So when we're uh fishing for bottom fish or halibut or fish that are holding on structure. Um, backing into current kind of slows us down a little bit. And obviously when I'm running twins with my twin 250 Suzuki's here, uh, I'm able to keep very good, good control of the, the boat. And that's pretty key on these spots is boat control, keeping them on the boat straight, lines straight down or, or what have you, depending on how we're fishing with which technique. But, uh, it's essential to slow us down a little bit so we're not passing over these fish so quickly. And backing into the current will help do that. Uh, if, if you have the ability and the, the size of boat to, to have twins, uh, it makes docking, it makes fishing so much easier, so much better experience uh, for the fishermen and the boat, the boat driver to, to keep you on fish. Just like that. You can fish, you can drive at the same time, and keep you on the spots that are essential where these fish are holding on. And it could be just a, a little rock that these fish are holding on, you know, a five by five rock, and you got a school of fish hanging on it, and if you can't keep on that spot, it's tough to, to be effective catching these fish like this. Boom. So the guys I had out on the boat, uh, bottom fishing with me uh, yesterday were, were guys that have fished with me for a few years now. And these guys are in the industry. These guys work for a retailer uh, up in Fife, Washington. So they're familiar with the gear, they're familiar with fishing, they get the program and, and over the years we've, we've created a, a friendship and a, a camaraderie uh, that I enjoy and I enjoy having them coming fishing with me quite often uh, as much as they can. And uh, bottom fishing is one of their favorite things to do with me and, 
And so we get them out and we have a good time and, and it's always nice to have good fishermen on the boat and they're trying different things and, and we're doing different things and, and so forth. And, and the banter uh, on the boat is it's what's enjoyable. <laughs> hey, pay attention. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You want a lead? Yeah. My main man, Corey, on top of these fish. Um, these guys know what they're doing. Uh, they're very knowledgeable and uh, they're great fishermen and they're great friends. I can consider them, you know, good friends of mine. So the particular area that we were fishing in uh, is, is fairly close to shore. We're within, you know, three miles of, of the beach. Uh, and this area is kind of diverse with the type of wildlife, the type of fish that's uh, congregated in that area. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, steep hills and cliffs around, uh, also to, you know, sandy beaches. Uh, we've got little washed rocks and little island rocks, uh, you know, protruding out. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, habitat for, for birds and sea life down there and sea lions and seals and, and what have you. Uh, you know, seagulls, to loons, uh, pelicans are flying around. So we've got a lot of activity around us. Uh, instead of being out in the open ocean, uh, when we're uh, deep, deep dropping for rockfish and ling cod and so forth, uh, you know, we're close to shore, we've got a lot of scenery. Uh, and it's beautiful down there. <laughs> 